Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick way to change out the motor. So in the last video, I showed you the long way about it, how to disassemble the unit since I had it all, all the way apart. But if you look at the assembled unit there are, and you remove the prop, there are two holes here which access the motor screws. Now the pieces, you need to also remove the pod cover from the bottom. And then I also suggest unplugging the motor beforehand because it's a rather tight fit. Let me flip it around here. It's a rather tight fit in there uh, too. So what you do is you simply take the orange screwdriver that comes with it and you loosen the screw. Now I would do this first screw first and there's a reason for this. Um, so I have to tip it a little bit. And so you take that one loose. Now what you'll have to do with this one is finagle it a little, little bit because you got to reach in between the gears. So this one is a little bit harder to get at. And so you loosen it up and bingo, the motor pops right out. Then you take the other motor and you have to be very careful because the screws are still in there. You want to get this back in into the motor bay. And so you kind of want to turn this gear a little bit to get the motor to seat. And you, I don't know if you could hear it pop, but it kind of popped as it's seated. And then again, what I'm going to do is go back to this screw first, tighten this one back in, and then reach down in here in this one. And this one's a little bit harder in this. You notice it's a magnetic screwdriver, so it actually took the screw back out. I try to leave the screws in because this one's a little bit tough one to get back in. And so there we have it. And then we plug this one in. Let me flip that over so you can see it. And boom, motor change. We can put the motor pod back on and we're good to go. So that's what these two holes here are for is to quick change the motors. So even if you're out in the field, you burn up a motor, you have another one, again, carry this handy dandy little screwdriver with you and you can swap out the motors without removing the entire case. So this is the quick change SEMA motor mount video. So hopefully you found it interesting, helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, a lot more of this coming. Hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.